Good afternoon, folks. Richie Rich here. Today in this video, I, I literally uh, uh, just got home from uh, college. Um, I was supposed to do my video today, uh, this morning, but uh, I had to go uh, to college to do my exam. But unfortunately, my exam got canceled, apparently. Um, I don't know like, why, but apparently we've been told. Um, we don't know like when we're gonna do our, our exam. But our teacher is gonna uh, send us a, a message, uh, and then uh, I'll find out what day it will be, and then I'll attend my exam. So uh, <clears throat> today in this video, um, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about a track day car. So uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and I never got a chance to do it. But I finally have managed to get the info done actually so i finished all of the info that it was there as possible uh i was like uh 80 like 80 uh 85 percent done with this and i had to finish off to like the last 20 like, like 15 20 percent left so uh yeah I, I got it done and let's talk about it also remember to like the video and subscribe and comment below what you guys think and hit the notification bell hit all so you're alerted so you're alerted when i make brand new uploads so without any further ado guys let's get cracking let's get cracking into this video so uh the car i'm talking i'll be telling you guys about is a track day car like i said and it's about the ktm ktm crossbow now this is a uh, one of like this is like uh one of the cars that i quite like this is, this is one of the cars i've never got a chance to talk about or write up about but uh, the reason why is just because like I have a feeling like the info is gonna be like so much, and uh, I didn't really. And I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do it just because there's too much info. But I changed my mind, and I managed to get it done. And uh, I'm also still doing uh, info on another car I got coming up uh, very very soon actually. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> so let's do it. So the KTM Crossbow, or or Expo as you would say. Uh, the KTM Expo, which is pronounced Crossbow, is an ultralight sports car manufactured. Many. Oh! Sorry. <coughs> uh, manufactured by Austrian automotive manufacturer KTM. Um, a company known, a company known uh, for their production of motorcycles, the, the Crossbow. Uh, was the first mass production was the first uh, mass produced car in their product range and was unveiled and la and launched at the Geneva Motor Show in twin in 2008 uh, the, the crossbow road car was developed in collaboration with Kiska with Kiska which is spelled K I S K A yeah Kiska Audi and Dallara which is spelled spelled D A L L A R A so it's Kiska, Audi, and the Lada. Can't really say it properly, but oh well. Uh, overviews first, uh, as usual, as you'd expect. Uh, manufacture is obviously by KTM themselves. Its production is from 2008 and is still in production. It is still in the present. Assembly is in Graz in Austria at the KTM Sports Car GmbH. And designer is Kiska, obviously. Uh, let's see the body and chassis next uh, the class is a track day car also a sports car so it's S class range uh, The body style is an open two-seater two-seater uh, Speedster or Roadster or yeah, or Roadster as you would call it. Uh, the layout is a rear mid-engine So basically it's a mid-engine car, but it's also mounted at the rear now powertrain. Uh, this is uh, next up. We got the engine. This is uh, uh, the two versions you can get for the for the available uh, KTM's for the available KTM's you can get. Sorry, the one of the lanterns just fell. Uh, the engine uh, is a two-liter uh, Audi turbocharged inline four from the R, the double R, well, RR, uh, GT, and the GT4. And the next one we got a 2.5 liter uh, Audi TFSI uh, turbo fuel stratified in turbo fuel stratified injection uh, inline five. So that's gonna be a really cool recipe. That's gonna sound great. Inline fives. Inline fives have always been great, especially the Audi inline fives. They just sound great. 
I call it the Baby V10 because obviously, like, it makes the same sound as a Lamborghini uh, V10. But for, like, Audis, it still has the sound, but with 50% cylinders less. So that's what it is. So, yeah. 2.5 liter Audi TFSI turbo fuel stratified injection inline 5 for the GTX, the GT XR, and the GT2. Transmission uh, two versions you can have. Uh, first one is a six speed manual, that's a good one. And the last one is a six speed Hollinger sequential gearbox. Next up, we got dimensions. Uh, starting, starting off with the wheelbase, uh, is 2430 millimeters, 95.7 inches. Uh, length is 3738 millimeters, uh, 147.2 inches. Width 1915 millimeters. Uh, 75.4 inches height 1202 millimeters 47.3 inches curb weight uh, these are for the, the versions you can get uh, for the standard is 1740 pounds 790 kilos uh, next we got 1700 and 1790 pounds 810 kilos for the double R the RR uh, uh, 1867 uh, pounds 847 kilos for the GT uh, 2300 or 2310 pounds 1048 kilos for the GTX and the 2760 pounds 1250 kilos for the GT XR now we got specifications next KTM developed its crossbow road cars in collaboration with design studio Kiska, Audi, and Delada. It will. It uses a carbon fiber structural skin. The crossbow uses a two-liter uh, transversal, transversally mounted turbocharged inline four engine from Audi that produces 177, 177 kilowatts, 240 PS, 237 horsepower at five and a half thousand RPM and 230 pound-feet, 310 newton meters of torque between 2,000 and 5,500 RPM. In the, cro in the crossbow R model uh, from 2011 and for, and for other models onwards, the Audi inline four is further tuned to produce 224 kilowatts, 304 PS, 300 horsepower, and 295 pound-feet, 400 newton meters of torque at 3,300 RPM. Uh, two gearbox options were available for the crossbow, six-speed manual, or a six-speed Hollinger twin clutch DSG. Uh, yes, or so a six-speed manual or a six-speed Hollinger twin clutch DSG sequential manual. The front tires are 205 slash 45 ZR17s, and the rear tires and the rear tires are 235 slash 40 ZR18s. Uh, the crossbow features Brembo brakes with 305 millimeter 12 uh, inch diameter rotors at the front and 200, 262 millimeters 10.3 uh, inch diameter rotors at the rear for discs. Uh, the, the crossbow was capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles an hour, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.9 in seconds. Less than 4 seconds by 10th off. By 10th of a second off. That's great. Next one, not really that good. Its top speed is 217 kilometers an hour, 135 miles an hour. For the GTX, GT2 concept, and uh, GT and uh, GT-XR models, the crossbow uh, uses a 2.5 liter uh, TFSI turbo fuel stratified injection 20 valve inline five engine sourced from the out sourced from the Audi RS3 actually. Which is a great looking car. It's a great car. Audi R3 is brilliant. Brilliant. If any of you guys got an RS3, you guys are the king. You guys are awesome. If any of you guys got RS3s, you're geniuses. Absolutely cool. So yeah, source from the Audi RS3. Originally, KT originally KTM planned a production of 500 units per year. How? Oh, sorry, my battery is about to die. Uh, originally, KTM planned a production of 500 units per year. However, the company increased production to 1,000 cars a year and built a new plant near Graz due to the high demand. 
Next we got the models. The first iteration of the KTM crossbow was unveiled at the 2008 Geneva Motor Show. There have been a number of models made available since the crossbow's release. Now we got the crossbow R. The crossbow R is an updated version of the original crossbow. The car's Audi inline 4 is more powerful than the older crossbow it replaces. Tuned to produce 224 kilowatts, 304 PS, 300 horsepower, and 295 pound-feet, 400 newton meters of torque. The crossbow R was later made available for the US market in 2019 and it was released at the K as the KTM Crossbow Competition R. However, unlike the standard crossbow, the Competition R is not road legal and is exclusively a track only car. So in other words, it cannot drive on the street and is only meant to drive on a track. Now we've got the crossbow double R or RR. The crossbow RR is a high performance version of the crossbow. Next we've got the crossbow GT. The Crossbow GT is a slightly more refined version of the Crossbow. The car contains a windshield and side windows for the driver and passenger. The car has the same power output as the standard model and uses a 6-speed manual. The weight is slightly heavier at 1867 pounds, 847 kilograms, due to the addition of, of the windshield and windows resulting in a slightly slower 0-100 to 100 km an hour, 0-60 mile an hour time of 4.1 seconds as well as a different weight distribution weight distribution ratio of 38 to 60 38 to 62 uh, the ride height is 10 millimeters higher the car's aerodynamics have also been decreased the crossbow gt provides luggage with 50 50 liters of capacity and its center console has been changed to accommodate to accommodate climate control windshield wiper adjustment windshield washer system and heating system or windscreen as you can call it Next, we've got the Crossbow GTX. The Crossbow GTX, not to be confused with the Plymouth GTX from Fast 8 or Faded of Yours. The Crossbow GTX is a longer wheelbase track only race version released on 2020. Manufactured in collaboration with Reiter Engineering, it's spelled R E I T E R. It took a bit of time to notice, but I finally got it. Aesthetically, the, the design is very difficult Whoa. to the standard Crossbow. Sorry, there was a wasp near me. Uh, the car uses a different engine to the standard crossbow, making use of the 2.5 liter Audi TFSI 20 valve, 20 valve inline 5 engine sourced from the Audi RS3. The 6 speed Hollinger sequential gearbox and carbon fiber structural skin are retained. The inline 5 uh, receives a number of upgrades for racing, including upgrades to the EMS engine management system, injection valves, wastegate, intake, and exhaust. The fuse box came from writers. Uh, or Raiter, I still can't pronounce it, a subsidiary company, uh, Sareni uh, United. It also came with fully electric power steering. It's kind of weird for a track day car. Next, we got the Crossbow uh, GT uh, XR. The Crossbow GT XR is a long wheelbase model of the, of the Crossbow based on the GTX and GT2 concept track only race car models built in a collaborative effort with Raiter Engineering. The car maintains the 2.5 liter Audi TFSI uh, t turbo fuel uh, certified stratified injection 20 valve engine. Next, we got Motorsport. The KTM Crossbow has been the selected car in the, 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 can't even talk. the selected car for use in the Race of Champions All Star event since 2008. The KTM Crossbow Battle Race Series started in 2010, 2010 shirt, sure, uh, as well and was a support event for the DTM du, du, I can't really pronounce it, it's a German writer spelled D-E-U-T-S-C-H-E Torenwagen Masters, a German touring car series at Adria Raceway, a motorsport racetrack near Adria in the Veneto region of northern Italy in 2010 and Lausitzring, Lausitzring I think, uh, formerly known as the Decra Lausitzring, spelled L A U S I T, so it's spelled L A U S I T Z R I N G. For ownership reasons, a, cir uh, a racetrack located near Kletwitz, a civil a, par a civil parish of Schipkau, I think, uh, Oberspreewald, Lausitz district in the state of. Uh, Brandenburg 
in northeast Germany, near the, near the borders of Poland and the Czech Republic in uh, 2011. Marcus Clutton and Phil Keane won the Supersports category with a modified crossbow in the 2009 British GT Championship. Now we got the SRO GT4. A modified KTM crossbow was raced in the Supersport category of the 2008 FIA GT4 Championship. Katharina Felser, Christopher Hayes, and Dennis Letera took a podium finish at Monza and pole position in the wet qualifying season at Nogaro. Uh, Peter Belsha and Marcus Clutton were the GT4 champions in the 2011 CZ season. There we go. Season of the British GT Championship in a modified crossbow. KTM is the factory. Uh, KTM teased the factory uh, GT4 version of the crossbow in 2014, which they would later unveil in 2015. The crossbow GT4 was, bu was built in collaboration with Reiter uh, Engineering and Kiska. The car features a closed uh, interior design to comply with, with class regulations. It also maintains the 2-liter turbocharged Audi, in Audi inline 4 engine and a 6-speed Hollinger sequential gearbox but both are modified for racing. To accommodate, to accommodate the rules and regulations, the wheelbase is extended by 17 centimeters. The Crossbow GT4 debuted in the 2015 GT4 European Series and took its first win in its debut at the circuit Zandvoort, located in the dunes north of Zandvoort, the Netherlands, near the North Sea coastline round. It also powered uh, Brett Sandberg to the 2016 Pirelli World Challenge GTS Championship with multiple wins. An, upgraded, an upgrade was introduced in 2018 with improvements in durability and performance. An evolution model for the Crossbow GT4 was released in 2019 as the Crossbow GT4 Evo. The update was di directed towards increasing uh, the car's straight line speed while maintaining the cornering capabilities of the previous Crossbow GT4. It also received a power increase now producing 280 uh, kilowatts, 380 PS, 375 horsepower, under balance of performance. We're almost done. Uh, now we got the SRO GT2. An SRO GT2 specification race car of the Crossbow was released alongside the GTX model in 2020, which would be unveiled as the Crossbow GT2 concept. The GT2 concept is based on the GTX. Wait, wait, wait. So an SRO GT2 specification race car of the Crossbow was released alongside the GTX model in 2020, which would be unveiled as the Crossbow uh, GT2 concept. There we go. Uh, the GT2 concept is based on the GTX, but is m more powerful than its road going counterpart. It debuted in the 2022 Fanatec uh, GT2 European Series. Now we got the reception. In a March uh, 2012 episode of Top Gear, presenter Jeremy Clarkson drove a crossbow GT around Donington Park Circuit in England. He applauded the tires gripping the tires grip, saying during a James May inspired season of donuts, it's like driving on superglue. But both May and Clarkson criticized the complicated uh, procedure needing to start the engine, calling it idiotic. Now. I gotta be honest, a starting procedure is literally the worst. Like I've I've seen like I've, yesterday I've seen that video where uh, uh, Clarkson was teaching May how to start the KTM, and I have to agree, the starting uh, procedures are just terrible for the KTM. Mainly because like the worst one is the handling for the cars. I mean, it looks good, but the handling not really that good. I wish uh, I wish KTM would like sort it out so. I uh, got a message for KTM. KTM, uh, please, for your crossbow arc, can you sort out, like, your handling, please? I mean, it's a good car that you make, but please sort out the handling, because it's not really good. And the turning circle, please. It's not looking good for the car. Uh, we're almost done. We just got uh, in video games and awards and recognition. Now we got in video games first. The Crossbow R uh, model appeared in Real Racing 3, Forza Motorsport 7, Assetto Corsa, The Crew 2, Gran Turismo Sports, and Project Cars 2. The Crossbow GT4 appears in Asphalt 8 Airborne, Project Cars 2, Forza Horizon 4, which I usually play, uh, Assetto Corsa, and Asphalt 9 Legends. Last but not least, we got awards and recognition. 
The crossbow won the Sports Car of the Year award from British Motoring Show Top Gear in 2008. And that is it guys. So if you guys like this uh, video, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and uh, comment below what you guys think. And hit the notification bell, hit all so you're alerted when I make a bunch of new uploads. And one more thing, I'm also going to be like, I'm currently going to be doing info on a different car, which I think... For me, it would be cool, but for you guys, I want you guys to decide uh, whether it will be cool or not. Because I guarantee you, most people would disagree that it is cool. But, uh, I'll give you a hint. It, uh, it's by a car manufacturer, and it's from Cadillac. Now, a lot, of people, a lot of you guys might not be interested in Cadillacs. I'll agree, like, I mean... For me, like, I mean, they're cool for me, but I was, like, not really, like, that quite interested in Cadillacs. I mean, I like muscle cars. I like Mustangs and Camaros and Chargers and, and Challengers. But for Cadillacs, I don't know. Uh, I will be doing, uh, it's gonna be, like, a concept version of the, uh, the Cadillac. Um, and it's actually, uh, I, I literally, uh, didn't even get started this, uh, info yet. But I just wrote down what I'll talk to you guys about. If you guys know what car I'll talk about from Cadillac, let me know down in the comments. And I'll read your uh, answers, like, of what you guys gave me. And I'll give you guys the answer, like, like in the next video. When I get, like, the info done for the car. And I, I checked on the, on the internet, and it was not really that much info anyway. So, it was just, like, a little bit of a deal. I'm going to close this because this wind is blowing and it's not good. So there's not much info for it anyway. So, um, alright, I'm gonna get going. Uh, oh, don't do this, it literally hurts. I hope you guys aren't clicking your next because it is the worst in the world. I just felt that straight away when I was just doing that. Anyways, um, so yeah, don't, don't do that, it's gonna hurt a lot. But, uh, anyways, uh, if you guys like this video, like the video, subscribe, comment below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and hit the notification bell, hit all so you're literally right when I make new uploads, and I'll see you guys in the next video, so until then, stay tuned, have a good day, and I'll see you guys soon, take care, bye-bye.